Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet two angels for this scene of a newborn baby and angels in a starry tent. I will show how to crochet the baby and the tent in separate videos and will leave links in the description. The height of the angels is four and a half and five inches and they are crocheted using the same design with two little differences, an extra round here on this angel and an extra round here. We'll start making the angel here on the top of the head and without cutting thread we'll make the whole body and then separately we'll just make two arms and the halo. We'll start with a magic loop like this. in which we'll make 12 double crochet stitches. The first double crochet is chain three, and now the second, the third, and so on. So now I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Close the loop and make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain here. We have 12 double crochet stitches. In the next round, we'll make 24. So first chain three instead of the first double crochet. And in the same place, we'll make another double crochet. And then we'll continue making two double crochets all the way around. Now I have six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. A slip stitch in the third beginning chain. 24 double crochets. In the next two rounds, they will also be 24 double crochets. So we'll start with chain three instead of the first double crochet, and then we'll continue making double crochet stitches in each double crochet of the previous round. Continue working like this, please, until you have all 24 stitches. Make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain and make one more round like this. I have finished these two rounds of 24. Altogether, I have four rounds. And in the next, the fifth round, there will be once again 12 double crochet stitches. So we'll be making first chain two, not chain three, 
and in the next double crochet a double crochet at the end of this round we'll make a slip stitch in this double crochet and now two double crochets together we'll start the first one we won't finish it and the next one we won't finish it and now we'll pull the hook through all three threads on the hook the next one unfinished double crochet unfinished double crochet and we'll work them all together unfinished unfinished working them together the next two double crochets together and the next two and we are working like this all way around two more and two more and now we can make that slip stitch in this first double crochet that we made this double crochet and this way we have 12 stitches around now we need to stop and uh, uh, fill the head with cotton or fiber film put the thread inside the head and fill it i am using this fiber fill and uh, a straw makes work easier and faster Now the head is well filled, has a nice shape, and we can make the last round of the head, which will be six single crochets. So we'll start with chain one instead of usual chain three, and uh, we'll make a single crochet in the next double crochet. And now two together, these two, together the next, two together the next two two more and two more we now have six stitches left and the head is ready now we are going to make a neck which will be 12 double crochet stitches as usual we'll start the round of double crochet stitches with chain three instead of the first double crochet and in the same space we'll make another double crochet and two double crochets in each of the remaining five stitches so now i have six eight ten and 12 a slip stitch in the third beginning chain now we are going to start working on this little cape which consists of four rounds for this angel and three for this one 
The first round will be 12 double crochet stitches separated by chain 1, but we'll be making those stitches using just the front loops of the double crochets of the previous round. So chain 3 as usual and chain 1 for separation. Now we'll start making a double crochet using just one thread, just the front part, front loop of the double crochet. We'll make chain one and uh, once again making a double crochet using just one thread of the double crochet of the previous round chain one, a double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, a double crochet of the next double crochet, once again using just the front part of the loop, and we are separating these double crochets with chain one. And uh, the next one. And the next. We are going to use the back sides of those stitches later when we'll start working on the skirt. And now the last one. chain one and a slip stitch in the third beginning chain count your double crochets make sure you have 12. in the next round we'll make 36 double crochets We'll make one double crochet in each double crochet of the previous round and two in each chain. So make chain three instead of the first double crochet and now in the next chain two double crochets. One double crochet in the double crochet and two in the chain one in double crochet two in the next space and continue working like this please until you reach the end of the round and make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain this round is finished 36 double crochet stitches and if you are working on this angel you are done with this part you can start working on the skirt and i'm going to show how to do it in just a few minutes after i'll make this last round for this angel it will be a round of 36 double crochet stitches separated by chain one chain three instead of the first double crochet chain one four separating those double crochets and now we are making a double crochet in each double crochet with chain one between them chain one double crochet chain one double crochet continue this round please until the end this part of our work is um, done we are going to make the last round using silver thread later but now we are moving back to this round where we were using only front loops of stitches. And to get there, we are going to make very loose slip stitches like this 
using one or two threads make as many stitches as uh, necessary for you to comfortably get there of course you can just cut the thread off and uh, start at that round but i prefer not to do it like this probably one more And uh, now I'll find one of those back loops and we'll make another slip stitch. Once again, kind of loose. Okay, so now we have 12 of those back loops. We'll need to make 18 double crochet stitches in this first round of the skirt. So we'll start with chain three. This is the first double crochet and in the next stitch we'll make two double crochets so on each two loops we are making three double crochets in the next one we'll make one double crochet and in the following two one and two one two one two one here two in the last loop and the slip stitch in the third chain Eighteen double crochets. Make sure you count them. As you can see in this design, we are going to alternate rounds of double crochet stitches and rounds of double crochet stitches separated by chain one. Because we need to widen the skirt, we are going to be adding double crochets only in these rounds where we have just double crochets. In each of these rounds, we are going to add six double crochets. So now we have 18 double crochets. In the second round, there will be nine separated by chain one. So I made chain three instead of the first double crochet and chain one for separation. Now I'm going to skip one double crochet. In the next one, I'll make a double crochet. Chain one, I'll skip one and we'll make a double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, a double crochet. Chain one, skip one a double crochet chain one skip one a double chain one skip one one double crochet and chain one skip one of the last double crochet chain one and a slip stitch in the third chain which we made at the beginning 
nine double crochets separated by chain one. In the third round of the skirt, we are going to add six double crochets because we have 18 stitches now. We'll be adding one double crochet after every two stitches. Chain three, this is the first double crochet. Now I am making a double crochet in this space. So I made two double crochets. In the third one, I'll make two instead of one. So on every three stitches, I'm making four double crochets. So now a double crochet in this space, a double crochet in the double crochet and in the next space I'll make two instead of one once again instead of three I have four now a double crochet in the double crochet a double crochet in this space and two double crochets in next double And we'll repeat it three more times. One double in the space, one double in the double crochet, and two in this chain between double crochets. Now one double crochet in double crochet, one in the space, and uh, two in the next double crochet and the last time one in the space one in the double crochet and two in the last chain slip stitch in the third chain the third round is ready we now have 24 double crochets. In the fourth round, once again, we are making double crochets separated by chain one. This is the first double crochet plus chain one. We'll skip one stitch and make a double crochet in the next one. Chain one, we'll skip one stitch, a double crochet in the next one. Chain one. We'll skip one stitch, we'll make a double crochet in the next one, chain one, and continue like this, please. At the end of round four, we still have 24 stitches here, and in the next round of double crochets, we'll make 30 stitches, so chain three, a double crochet in the space, a double crochet in the double crochet, we've made three, and after those three, we'll make two in the next space. So instead of four stitches, now we have five. We'll make a double crochet in the double crochet, a double crochet in the space, a double crochet in the double crochet and in the next space we'll make two once again instead of four stitches we now have five a double crochet in the double crochet a double crochet in the space a double crochet in the double crochet and two in the next space a double crochet in the double crochet a double in the space a double crochet in the next double crochet and the two in the chain between the stitches and the same here one double crochet, two, 
three. And in this space, we'll make two. And now the last group, a double crochet, a double, a double. We've made three and in the last space we'll make two double crochets. Now we have 30 in this round and we'll make a slip stitch. In round six, we'll make 15 double crochets. We'll be skipping one. So chain three, the first double crochet, chain one for separation, we'll skip one. We'll make a double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, make a double crochet, and so on. We have 30 stitches here now. In the next round, we'll make 36 double crochets. So we'll be adding a double crochet after every four double crochets on the fifth one. So chain three, a double crochet in the next space, a double crochet in double crochet, a double crochet in chain one we've made four double crochets and in the next one we'll make two so on every five stitches we are making six double crochets one double crochet in the space one in double crochet one in the space one in double crochet i've made four now in this space i'll make two more to have six double crochets instead of five a double crochet in the double crochet one in the space one in the next double crochet one in the space and in the next double crochet, I'll make two. One double crochet in chain one, one double in double, one in chain one, one double in double, and two in the next chain. And uh, two more times, one double crochet, one, 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 two in the next double. And the last group, one, two three four and two in the last chain one a slip stitch in the third beginning chain 36 double crochets in round eight we'll make 18 double crochets one two three chain three and chain one skip one double crochet make a double crochet chain one skip a double crochet make a double crochet chain one skip a double crochet make a double crochet and continue this pattern please In round nine, instead of 36 stitches, we'll be making 42. So we'll be adding a double crochet after every five stitches. 
one, two, three. A double crochet in the chain, a double crochet in the double crochet, a double crochet in the chain, a double crochet in the double crochet. I've made five double crochets. In the next space, we'll make two. Instead of six, we are making seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and in this space, we'll make two. Once again, instead of six, we've made seven double crochets. And continue the same way. One, two, three, four, five, and now six and seven in one space one two three four five six and seven in the next space one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in the space between double crochets and one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven in the last chain and the slip stitch. In round ten, we'll make twenty one double crochets chain three plus chain one skip one stitch make another one chain one skip one stitch make a double crochet chain one skip one stitch make a double crochet and so on continue the pattern please in the next round round 11 there will be 48 double crochet stitches if you are making this angel continue using white thread and then make another round of the same 48 double crochet stitches using silver thread i am making this angel now so i will cut off the white thread and will start working using silver so i'll attach silver thread to my work we'll make chain three instead of the first double crochet and now including this both ends of the thread in my work i'll start making double crochets adding an extra one after every six double crochets so in this space i'm making a double crochet in this double crochet i'll make a double crochet also in this space a double crochet in the next double crochet a double crochet and in this space a double crochet so i have made six double crochets in the seventh 
instead of one i'll make two this way instead of seven stitches i'm making eight double crochets and i will continue the same way i'll make a double crochet in this space a double crochet in the next double crochet so this is the second in this group okay this is the third the fourth the fifth the sixth and after this six i'm making two and chain one And now in the double crochet, double crochet, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And after six, I am adding two. Please work the second half of this round on your own, repeating this three more times. At the end of the round, cut off the thread and weave it using a needle through a few stitches. like this and then use silver thread to make the last round of this little cape the round of single crochet stitches so join the thread and uh, make single crochet stitches all the way around once again including this end of the thread in your work a single crochet stitch in each double crochet and in each chain like this A single crochet stitch in each double crochet and in each chain like this continue please now when the body is ready we'll make a halo We'll start with white thread. We'll make chain 25 using white thread. Leave about four inches of thread. And uh, make chain 25. Five. Ten. 15, 20, 25, and a slip stitch in the first chain. Now cut the white thread off, leaving about the same length of thread that you already have. Join silver thread, once again leaving about the same length. And now, using just one thread, we'll be making single crochet stitches, including all these ends of thread in our book to make the halo a little more substantial. So, a single crochet in the next chain 
stitch a single crochet once again I'm using just one thread and I'm including all of these ends in my work one thread a single crochet one thread a single crochet and so on continue working around at the end make a slip stitch in the first stitch and the halo is ready now we are going to start working on arms find where the back of your angel will be this is where we connected all the rounds and then um, here find two openings opposite each other and these are the openings we are going to use to start the arms we'll need to make nine single crochet stitches we'll make one here three using this double crochet two here between this double crochets and three here nine all together so i'll attach the thread to the lower part of this opening and we'll make chain one this is going to be the first single crochet now around this double crochet i will make three single one as usual i include those ends of thread in my work wherever possible two and three here we'll make two single crochets on top of this opening one and two and three single crochets around this double around this side of it it was one two and three now make a slip stitch making sure that you have nine single crochets so i'm counting them from the hook four six this will be the ninth and now we are going to make single crochets around and around we'll need to make about a hundred single crochets or about 11 rounds but we are going to use only front loops of each stitch this way the work won't be so dense and it will be easier to fill it in later uh, with cotton so this is my single crochet number 10 11 12 13 14 15 and so on stop from time to time and count the stitches that you have making sure that you have nine no more no less and um, make those hundred single crochet stitches and then i'll show how to continue i have now made a hundred single crochet stitches and then um, i can cut off the thread and uh, fill the arm with a little fiber fill this is where a little straw comes real handy because you want to um, make this arm a little wider in order to fill it and now add just a little filling here we don't want the arms to be thick, just have shape. 
probably enough. And now we can use needle and this end of the thread to close all the stitches. I'm using just one thread, the front loop of each stitch. To pull them all together and now I will insert the needle into the arm I will cut off all the threads and the first arm is ready we'll need to make another one like this opposite the place where we started the first one now the smaller angel is done for the bigger one make another round of double crochet stitches here and because this angel is a little taller i would also make the arms a little longer instead of a hundred single crochets about 110 and I would make a halo a little bigger also on chain 27 instead of 25. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video and you found it useful. If so, please push the like button. And if you enjoy crocheting such things, consider subscribing to the channel and pushing the bell button to be informed of all the new developments on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.